Hello everybody, my name is Maverick4k and this is Overwatch again. This is what you guys want to see, an oversaturated Maverick4k doing some CSGO Overwatch. Because apparently the video I uploaded yesterday with Hearts of Iron did not gain any traction. Now, I, I understand my community is built around Counter-Strike. Wow, I really am overly saturated. Holy shit. I know my, I know my, my channel is very built on Counter-Strike and shit like that, but... I want to introduce more stuff. I want to I want to spice it up. You know what I mean? Like Hearts of Iron is great because I can play as the German Reich and just put coups in everybody's country and watch the allies fall apart. Or I could play as like Belgium, defend against Germany, attack like like you know Luxembourg, attack Holland, attack all this other shit and and just different stuff that I can do. So, if that's something you guys want to see, I'm actually going to leave a link right over here. It should have popped up for you guys. Go ahead and click it. Check out the video. Um, I, I only got like 70 views on it, which is very depressing for me. But I like it. I like the game a lot. And I hope that you guys can, you know, understand that I like it too. And we can all come together with it. All right. This is our first Overwatch case. I think, what, six days or so? And it's a slow load. So we might get something semi-decent, which would be nice. I want something good. I'm so sick and tired of these bullshit Overwatch cases. With, with nothing happening inside of them. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna say Mirage or Inferno. I was wrong in both cases, it's Nuke. <laughs> Nuke can be fine, Nuke can be fine. Nuke competitive is the name of the game. Let's see what we got here. All right, round number six is dropping us off on the first half. This is gonna be, the, the suspect is gonna be the CT side. It's five to zero at the beginning of round number six. He's got two kills, zero assists, three deaths. 0.7 KD, 32 ADR, and 100% headshot. Okay, 100% headshot. That's not bad, though. Let's see what he's... Oh, we already got auto snipers. Okay, that's never a good sign. Um, he's got the S... Oh. All right, one's cheating. This is definitely an HVH. What is this guy doing? Is this like a Franz J wannabe? Yes! I like that. This is the st All right, so I got one, two, three, three cheaters on, or four cheaters on the CT side, right? We have one, two, right now we got two on the T side. Round number seven, six to zero. Our boy running around with an MP7. Let's see what happens. The T's aren't even leaving their spawn, man. There's nothing they can do. Donkey takes down Blackbird and Sparrow. Flu takes down Lily with an AK headshot. Last one left alive is Lamb, who's probably not cheating. Oh, the poor son of a bitch got gangbanged. This is the good stuff. This is the stuff we want to see. It makes you think, though, right? It makes you think, what went on before this that forced everyone to, to toggle? <laughs> All right, so he's got anti-aim. He's got okay. Now we got now we got the rage anti team. He tried the legit AA. I could see that by shoulder peeking. Uh, he wanted to see if what was it Puffin? He wanted to see if Puffin would either shoot his his model or his or his hitbox. Which he hit his hitbox. So he said, "Fuck it." Okay, looks like I'm raging. I love looking at the ground as much as the next guy, but takes down Lily. Takes down Puffin. Takes down. At a boy suspect. See, I don't feel bad for anybody. Anybody in this situation. This is... This is a cheater versus cheater, okay? A, a three... It looks like one, two, three, four. You got four cheaters in the CT. I don't think number three, Flute, is cheating. Unless he's just AFK. Sam and takes down Lamb. Yikes. But there's also a few cheaters on the, on the T side as well. So I don't feel bad for nobody here. Oh my, that's glorious. Suspect, you make me, this makes me want to do more Overwatch. At first, I, at first to see him bouncing around, you know, with his knife out and the taser, I was like, all right, this guy is only playing on nuke. He's probably a Franz J wannabe. But no, nah, -uh. no, no, no. What is, Lily's just flipping back and forth. They all gave up. Everybody gave up. That's it? That's all you're gonna give me? I don't know, guys. He looks clean in me. All right, I'm gonna have to hit him with the aim, with the vision, other external, and griefing is gonna be insufficient. But I mean, a three for one, that's not bad. I, at least our first case back, right? A quick refresh of the game brings us to case number two. Hey, that first one's gonna be hard to beat. I'm not gonna lie with you. That was a very well-structured and very well 
thought out Overwatch case. Thank God for cheaters like that. And then what are you guys thinking for next video? What do you guys want? You want some CS gameplay? I can do some more Hearts of Iron. I got, I got a lot of shit. A Hearts of Iron, a Paradox game will take hours to beat. If you guys ever played Paradox games, hours. Hours of dedication and alcohol bring you to victory. Inferno Competitive is case number two. All right, suspect, do not let me down. Welcome to Inferno Competitive, everybody. Round number 11, it's a 4-6 to six split. Ah, uh, it is the first half. The suspect is on the T side. He's 13 kills, 3 assists, 6 deaths, 2 points UKD, 145 ADR, 53% headshot, and 2 3Ks. He has himself an AWP, Glock, Taser, full set of utility, and some money. He's cash-strapped with the bomb, which is good. Ah, uh, the rest of the team isn't doing so well. Ah, uh, actually, they are. Wow, Albatross at 10k, Stump at 5k, almost 6, you can't see it. It's here. Uh, let's see the CT side. CT side, Kiwi has no money in an auto, he must be desperate. He's probably bottom fragging. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Albatross takes down Sonar pretty quickly on Banana. Suspect's got- I was gonna say good movement, but you ruined that. A full rotation from the CTs. Why is there three on B, one on A? What the fuck happened? A is going to be completely open. The T's don't know that at this point. The suspect's going to throw a molly into pit. Planting the bomb for for pal for apartments. Excuse me, palace. For apartments, out balcony. Kiwi's sitting there with the auto sniper too. That's not okay. Gets taken out though. Stump's going to kill four of them. Winning the round for the terrorists. Nice job. A, Sonar takes down Sheep with an AWP. He's making his way back inside of apartments again. Mask is able to clip the suspect down to 54 HP. Don't jump and shoot, Sonar. Come on. Oh, through the wall. He does make contact with Mask, but unable to finish the kill. Mask is going to take down the suspect and win, but still is going to go to the terrorists. All right. Sonar's being a dumbass, running straight down mid. The suspect's gonna make short work of him. With an AUG as well, wow. Wow, Salmon was being oblivious, looking the wrong way. Look at the way he came, gets taken out by the suspect. It's a three versus five. Number five, Daisy is rotating to the A site, leaving only Kiwi alive. Double flashed. Kiwi is going to take down the suspect, but Bell is going to take down Kiwi, and Sheep is going to kill the remaining counter-terrorists. He hears the footstep. That's why he's looking around. Didn't pre-fire. Didn't stare anybody through a wall. He heard the footsteps up at apartments. He looks good. He looks good. What's the point of buying a shotgun if you're going to push the choke point? Where are you looking, homie? This, okay, look, I, I don't want to say it, okay, but I think our homie here has walls. I think he does. I don't think it's the normal run of the mill. I think it's like that proximity shit. Remember the previous videos we talked about it, where it would send like sonar almost? I think he's got something like that. I, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Am I crazy? Am I crazy to, to, su to suspect this? That's it? Oh my god! No! Oh, fuck! God damn. I don't know, guys. I... I... I want to say walls. He didn't have any silent aim or anything like that. I slowed down a lot of his shots and he didn't have anything like that. Vision? I'm gonna leave that blank. Other external, insufficient. Briefing, gonna be insufficient as well. When it comes to vision... Do I think that he had vision? I do. I really do. It's just... But then again, they were winning. They were kicking ass. You know what I mean? Like, they had they had the enemy team running in fear. Like, they couldn't do anything. So, when have you guys been in a game where you've won? Like, won by a, signif a significant amount. And then just got ballsy with your shots. Rushing out with a P90. Rushing out with a scout. Rushing... You know what I mean? I, I'm gonna... Uh...
I'm going to have to hit him with insufficient. I don't think... I mean, I think he was, but there wasn't enough actual hard evidence for me to hit him with it. But, you know, hey, whatever. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see videos like this one in the future, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, don't forget, I'm going to be posting another link to my, ch uh, my uh, video that I posted yesterday for Hearts of Iron. Go ahead and check that out if you like strategy games. I want to do more games like that. Yeah, but thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in two days from now in the next video, whatever it may be. I don't know yet. Goodbye, everybody.